All right, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about uh, my range bag and what I take to the range when I go out there and what I think most everybody should probably have in their range bag. Uh, just so you're prepared as possible when you go to the range, you have everything. It sucks to get out there. Generally, the range isn't close to your house. For most people, you get out there and you realize you don't have something and it kind of sucks. So here's what I keep in my range bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always keep, first and foremost, targets. Uh, I keep them in this little sleeve here. I don't remember where I got this little Velcro sleeve, but it, it works well for targets. So I just keep a roll of targets in there. And I have a couple types. I have a couple zeroing targets that are in the center. And then I keep some of these DOE uh, qual course targets. They're the minimized targets for simulating out to 100. They're the targets we use at my work. So I keep those in there so I always have them. Always have targets in case you get out there. There aren't targets. Your buddy forgets targets or whatever the case may be. Always, I always have them in my bag. Uh, with, with targets, I also have some of these uh, shoot and see targets. So if you're shooting out the distance, you can see the impact, or I guess even if you're shooting close, it makes it kind of handy. You're not having to go back and forth down range. You can see where the impact is fairly easily. They work really well. They come in a six pack. I think they come in larger packs as well. And then I always keep the old ones just because they have these dots on here so you can place them back over your impacts. And it's basically like having another target so you're not just wasting targets. So I keep those in the bag. Uh, also, I keep my muffs in there all the time. I have two sets of muffs here. Uh, these are for my wife and these are for myself. Mine are powered, hers are not. I do think I will eventually switch over and get her some powered ones. She seems to like mine quite a bit, so at some point I'll probably buy her a set of these. These are just the Impact Sport. These ones I seem to like the most. They're extremely durable. The batteries, the battery life is really good on them. And then I have this uh, soft cover on there. It has a place for a name tape. I haven't put one on there just yet. And then it has this paracord hook. Uh, I like to hook this on my gear when I'm shooting, so they're always with me. I keep both those in there all the time. They stay in the bag. Uh, safety glasses, of course. These are just some clear safety glasses I believe I got from work. Uh, pretty much any ones I'm fine with. So I keep these in the bag. Uh, stapler, obviously, for the targets. There's nothing worse than you get out there with targets and you have no way to secure the target. So I do keep a staple gun there all the time. I used to keep 3M adhesive spray, but I had it one time go off in my bag a little bit and since then I just don't trust it so I don't keep it in there anymore. Plus it's windy here in Amarillo so sometimes that adhesive doesn't work as well so I just stick with the staple gun. Uh, when it comes to uh, hearing protection I also keep some soft plugs in case some people come out with this to shoot and they don't have their own hearing protection that way I have some extra in my bag that other people can use. Uh, I keep a knife. This is just a basic CRKT. Uh, I keep this in there all the time. It's nothing special. It'll do the job, it'll cut. That's all it needs to do. I keep some oil in there for my weapons in case uh, something gets dry or have some kind of problem or issue. I always have some uh, lubricant in there for my weapons. This is the Lucas gun oil. When I went to SEMA three or four years ago, Lucas was there and they were handing out this gun oil for free. It was a new product they were releasing, so I snagged up a bunch of it while I was there. And I keep one in my bag at all times, so it's always with me. Now also, I keep some pens. I keep just a regular ballpoint pen. These are the Pilot G2 gel pens. I love these pens. I use them at work. I use them at home. I use them everywhere. Probably the best pen for your buck you can get. Uh, a Sharpie so I can mark out impacts, uh, put right scores on targets, names, whatever the case may be. And then I keep a Trijicon lens pen. Basically, it's just a soft brush for cleaning off optics. These are really nice since it's a we're in the dust bowl. So... This comes in handy. Uh, I have this concealed Texas Concealed Handgun Laws in my bag. It's an older book. It was in there from when I did the class a long time ago, and I just left it in there. But it helps keep the other two documents that I do keep in my bag straight and not, not getting all crumpled up and messed up. And these are both the copies of my original tax stamps for my short barreled rifle and my suppressor. That way if I'm ever out at the range and somebody wants to call into question the legality of what I'm shooting, I have them with me and I can show proof that these are registered with the ATF and I have the proper paperwork to have those items. Uh, also, I keep a 1M4 mag in my bag and what I do, I use it to store these dummy rounds, these sim rounds. When we go to the range with some of my buddies, what we'll do is we'll let each other load each other's mags. So I'll give him a handful of these and I'll have a handful and then we load each other's mags so 
you'll have some kind of malfunction while you're firing and it gives you a good opportunity to train on how to clear malfunctions on the spot. So those are real handy and I just keep them in there so they don't get lost in this, this mag. Uh, also in this top pouch here, I keep uh, just a variety of batteries for some of the different optics, flashlights, my muffs. So I always have them with me. Uh, I have uh, my range card for one of the, one of the ranges I, I frequent. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, some CR123 batteries for the flashlights. Uh, some Carmex and some lotion just because it's the panhandle and it's extremely hot and dry up here. So I keep those in there all the time as well. Uh, also here I have two holsters that when I go to the range I take with me. So this is my Glock 17. This is the weapon uh, that I... My duty weapon at work as well as the pistol that I shoot competition with and my home defense weapon. Let me show you it. It is clear. No ammo in the mag. The chamber is empty. So uh, this is what I take to the range 99% of the time just to stay proficient at work and to stay uh, caught up on training when it comes to getting ready for three gun. When uh, some of those competitions start coming up, especially with the weather getting nice now, they should start posting some stuff up to go to. One of the holsters I take is this holster. It's just a basic Kydex holster with belt loops. You can adjust it up and down for your comfort level. Uh, if I'm wearing just a plain old belt, generally this is what I take. This, this is what I take 90% of the time. Now, depending on what kind of training I'm gonna do, sometimes I take this holster. So this is a Safari Land. This is their drop leg holster. This is what we have at work, so if I'm going to try and focus on uh, staying proficient at work that day or whatever the drills I plan on doing at the range, I'll bring this holster. And this attaches to my uh, belt rig that I have specific for three guns, so sometimes this is, this is the best option for me while I'm out there shooting. Uh, this is the bag I keep everything in. This is, let me see, the, it's the 511 Rush 12 pack, so it's like their 12 hour uh, pack is what they claim, but it's about the perfect size to store everything I have with it has the right pouches for me I like the way it's set up. I have a few things on here on the name tapes. Uh, I also have a combat cock on here uh, This is something I bought just for shits and giggles from uh, SOE gear online But this is the bag I store all the stuff in it holds everything real well I don't generally put my ammunition in this when I'm gonna go uh, to the range unless I'm only gonna take a small amount Usually I take a 50 cal ammo can and I put all the ammo in it and just carry it separate. But that's it. Oh, let me forget, not forget this. Uh, so I keep this tool in my bag as well. And this is basically a Allen head tool. It's the perfect length and it's for adjusting the gas block. I did a video before this uh, last week on my ARs. And if you watch that, you'll see that two of my ARs, one a short barrel rifle and one a pistoled rifle, uh, have adjustable gas blocks for shooting subsonic or supersonic ammo and with my suppressor. So sometimes I need to make adjustments and I keep this in the bag at all times so I always have it ready and handy. But that's it. That's everything I keep in my range bag and I take to the range. So, uh, as always, enjoy your Second Amendment rights. Get out and shoot. Have a good time. Practice. And uh, please like subscribe and follow my channel you know uh leave some comments if there's anything you want to know about any questions i'll put a bunch of links below and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks